Here today in the Drone Doctor's 3D printing shop, uh, we have the anti cubit Krylon, and we're getting ready. I've done done a modification on the heating plate uh, upgrade. You have no more problems of warping using this upgrade. And what I like to show you is the material that we're going to be using. Here is the uh, stock plate. And like I was talking about, this aluminum piece here is probably an eighth of an inch or less. And then you got your glass, but you can see where they've glued this instead of putting 3M tape on it. And this eighth of an inch, with the heat, it's going to warp, it's going to bend. And that's why I never could get this board to level. So, I ended up buying a whole new plate and everything with this glass, which I'm not going to use this glass, but I needed the heating element, which is this here. And I also made a new plate, which is a quarter of an inch. It ain't real heavy. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. It's aluminum, and uh, it holds heat real good. It's taken me about maybe four more minutes to let it heat up, maybe. Maybe not that much, but I didn't see a big change in that. So once you've got your heating element, and you got your 3M tape, You'll use the same screws and everything like you normally do. You'll line it up, and then you'll put this together. And then you're really done. The next thing I've done, you can look here on my printer. Here is my mirror glass. Works perfect. It's, it's about an eighth of an inch. And it holds heat good too. Uh, it matched right up. Just set it on your plate. Just make sure you get it squared up. And then once you get it squared up, you can use your clips on the front and back and side. And I've got some uh, video with some prints coming on on this uh, video here, and some pictures. I hope. You like your upgrade and uh, got any comments, just send them to me. Thank you. This, this second layer is almost finished. This thing is working beautifully. Okay. We're here on the printer here with this large print of the moonlighter that was in a movie and on my mirror plate and plus the new design for the heater plate is really probably about a quarter inch and it's printing real well okay we're getting down to our final stages we're not far from being done with this project. And it's looking pretty. All right, finally got this thing printed. Probably put too much infield in it. That's why it took so long, about 90 some hours. But it is finished. I just got to do a little cleaning up to do. But it turned out great. More to come on, on the any cubic. Krylon with the new upgraded heating bed and plate.
Finance of the Green. Yeah, hang on a minute. Just to let you know, here is some figures that I've done, some printing, and how big this machine is and how big it can print and how wide it can print. Haven't had any issues. It, the main thing was my heating plate. So the modification, once I've done this modification, I had no more issues with leveling the plate or any warping or any bad prints. Everything has been printing great since I've done this. And also I went ahead and printed this off of Thingiverse for my uh, measurement gauge and it just fits right here. So once I go to self beveling and I get it down there, I get I get the gauge and gauge my nozzle. And once I do that, I zero this out and I go to corner to corner and keep going to they're all the same number. Once they're all the same number, then I'm level, and that's the best way I know how to level this machine. But it's been a great printer since I've done these modifications. It was sitting here for probably four or five months till I could get all my material in. But once I got it in, it's working great. I hope this video helps you. If you have any comments, just send them to me.